Hi, this is Shubham from Moni Studio and today in this podcast we are going to discuss about one of the important debt strategy for reconstruction of our portfolio in long run and that is a bond ladder strategy. Here in this podcast we are going to discuss about what is this strategy is all about, its goal, example, how and when to implement this. But before starting this podcast, if you want to read the full article about this, then the link of article is provided in a description. So let's start. If a diversification is a key to survive over a long period of time then you should follow a specific strategy for a debt return optimization as well let understand and discover how the bond ladder strategy can help you secure the predictable income from bonds with the flexibility to reinvest at a different interest rate at a different time interval so here is the main question what is this bond ladder strategy a bond ladder is a portfolio of individual corporate deposits or bonds that may measures on different dates. This strategy is designed to provide a current income while minimizing exposure to interest rate fluctuations. Instead of buying bonds that are scheduled to a mature during the same year, you purchase corporate deposits or bonds that mature at a different future date. Trading out maturity date can help you prevent from trying to time the market. Staying disciplined and reinvesting the proceeds from maturing bonds can help you as an investor to ride out interest rate fluctuations. What are the primary goals of a bond ladder? There are primarily two major goals for a bond ladder which can help an investor. The first one is a managed interest rate risk. By staggering maturity date, investors avoid getting locked into a single interest rate. A ladder helps smooth out the effect of a fluctuation in interest rate because there are bonds maturing every year, quarter or a month depending on the number of steps in the ladder. When a bond mature, an investor could reinvest the principal in the new longer term bond at the end of a ladder. If interest rate have rise, there will be a benefit from a new higher interest rate and keep the ladder going. If interest rates were to fall, unfortunately, the maturity bonds will likely to be reinvested at a lower rate. But the bonds at the end of a ladder will have a likely lock in a higher yield already. The second objective over here is a managing a cash flow. Since many bond pay interest twice a year on a date that generally coincide with their maturity date, investor can structure predictable monthly bond income based on a coupon payment with a different maturity month as well as years. Here for just your information, if you are investing in a SGB sovereign gold bond funds, then this laddering concept can be utilized beautifully for a monthly cash flow of income. Let's discuss how is a bond ladder created. The bond ladder itself is a fairly straightforward to create. The overall length of a time spacing between the maturity and time of a security are primary consideration when building a bond ladder. Even in a long or rising interest rate environment, bond ladder can help to balance the need of an income while managing interest rate risk. To continue with the example of a SGB, you can invest in these SGBs for a different mature period like for April, May, June, July and since interest are paid twice in a year you can get an interest for every month. Now let's discuss how does a bond ladder work. With a bond laddering you invest in a multiple bond with a different maturity. As a corporate deposit or a bond mature you can reinvest the principal in the new bond with the longest term you originally choose for your ladder. If interest rate move higher you can reinvest at higher rate. If it falls you will still have a some bonds lock in for a longer term at a higher yield. Let's take an example how a ladder work. Take a total amount that you plan to invest with the goal of extending the ladder as long as possible. For example, rupees 10 lakh to buy individual bond could be invested with a 10 bonds of rupees 1 lakh each. Over the span of a 10 years, total rupees 10 lakh will be invested with a 10 bonds of rupees 1 lakh each. The average yield of a bond will be considered and every bond mature will be reinvested over the next ladder to continue this cycle. While predictable, the bond income is not guaranteed and it's subject to call risk as well as possible default on a principal and interest which increases with a lower rate of security. Here in case of a SGB, sovereign gold bonds, since the it is backed by the government, no risk of a default. So it is a good option as far as India is concerned to invest these, these kind of a bonds. Let's discuss how ladder may help you 
when the interest rate are falling interest payment from bonds can provide you with a income until they mature or are called by the issuer when the time comes there is a no guarantee you will find a new bond paying a similar interest because the rates and yields of a bond changes frequently laddering bonds that mature at a different time let you potentially diversify this risk across the number of bonds through a bond in your ladder might mature while yield are falling your another bond would continue generating income at a higher as compared to the older rates let discuss how the ladder may help you when the interest rates are rising a ladder may also be useful when the yield and interest rate increases because it regularly free up a part of your portfolio so you can take an advantage of a new higher rates if all your money is invested in a bonds with a single maturity date you might be able to reinvest at a higher yield but your bonds might also match sure before interest rise ladder can also offer some protection from the possibility that rising rate might cause a bond price to fall so let's discuss what is a bottom line over here the bond ladder strategy is effective way to diversify portfolio to optimize return over longer period of time by increasing overall interest rate and the bond yield cumulatively in indian context the best way to utilize the bond ladder strategy is through an sgb sovereign gold bond which gives a confirmed 2.5 percentage interest rate per annum with two times payment in a year backed by central government hence totally and fully secured so here shubham from monist view signing off but before that if you want to read the full article about this then the link of article is provided in description thank you